What's up, YouTube? This is Madcock83. Welcome to Episode 2 of Season 2 of Let's Play with Mods. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to get a few basic things done. Uh, we're going to need to go mining because we're pretty low on redstone and coal. Um, <clears throat> something else I want to do really quick. Uh, I've let my refinery empty, and occasionally if, you have, uh, if you're pumping oil into your refinery in those back two slots, and one gets empty and you're not letting the fuel out it will fill up the front and then start to fill up the back and not and not allow you to pump any more oil into it but one of the new features is, is if you right click on the refinery you get this little interface and if you put a bucket of uh, oil there and a bucket of oil there it's telling it that the back two slots only take oil and the front one takes fuel and you won't have that happen again so we can let this fill up and get back to work and also I want to show this, this is what uh, didn't work in, in my render fail of the first episode where you just had that black screen. This is <clears throat> that power switch pipe. And if you apply a redstone cur current to it, it allows it to connect to the adjacent pipes. So if we want to cut this refinery off, all we have to do is flip this switch and it ceases to have any more power. But we can cut it back on and it's going to accept power from this teleport pipe and run it down to the refinery. I think we're full of oil so we can cut those off. Uh, also you can make buckets out of tin now. Uh, I'll go ahead and dump these back in there because we don't need them. That's just what you had to do too. I, most build craft items use like um, the automatic crafting bench when you put the recipe in that automatic crafting bench it keeps the items. But Nevertheless, that one for some reason didn't, so let's drop our buckets back in there. Get my wood, my gun back, and we're going to make something new today. And as you can see, I put a regular workbench up here, and I'm going to show you why. We're going to build alchemical chests. And if we check the recipe right here, it takes all these items. Now, when nifty little feature is if you're opening a crafting bench and you this is a feature of not enough items if you look up the recipe for something and you hit this little question mark it puts the outline of it in the crafting bench so we don't have to worry about losing it or forgetting it the first thing we need to do is get these conveyance dusts and how you make them is like such one diamond one coal gives you 40 of the blue one one redstone, one piece of iron gives you the light blue ones. And fill your chest, <clears throat> fill your uh, slot up like so, and that doesn't give you that one. It might have been smooth stone, let's see. Which one do we get? The green. Oh, it's charcoal. If we put coal, okay, that's good to know. Let's do that real quick. I thought it was just regular coal. There we go. Philosopher's Stone comes in handy as always. And there's that one. Let's get the Philosopher's Stone back in its spot. And what was our recipe for that? I believe it was... We're going to make four of them. So we'll put four there. Four. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'll put these here, these here, we need four diamond also for that, we need four regular chests, and four iron ingots. And we got our chemical chests. And if you don't know what these are, uh, we'll drop one here for the time being. And there's your inventory for a normal large chest. There's your inventory for a chemical chest, it's a lot, lot bigger. And what we're going to do is eliminate these bad boys here. But we're not going to do it just yet. <clears throat> I'm actually considering taking this wall out and knocking this stuff down and building us a nice little room out here. But we're going to use something new for that as well. <clears throat> and let's see, what else did I want to do? Also for mining, uh, I'm going to build us something else because I don't really like how the portal gun's working at the moment, but it is still okay. I have no problems with it. Let's see. If 
first thing we're going to do is link switch. That's going to give us our teleport base. Uh, let's go ahead and put these in there. Get us some redstone torches. And now we're going to... Put that like so, which gives us a long barrel, which is for something totally different. And put those two there. One, two. One, two. And those give us the teleport propellers. And these are going to go together just like the other ones did. So give us this. And this. So now we have two of them. We're going to leave one at our house. Uh, uh, we're not doing nothing right here. Let's put it there. If we right click on it, we can give it a frequency. We're going to call the house frequency 1. And if I take the other one and drop him down here, as you see, nothing is happening. But if we right click it, give it the same frequency as that other one, it'll start spinning. And if we stand on it, poof, we're on the other side. So what we can do is take this with us while we're mining and get back home pretty quickly uh, without having to pulse the portal gun. This will help us get around when we're uh, down there mining. So I'm going to sleep through the night and I'll be back when I find something interesting. <clears throat> Alright guys, I got a little nice little full inventory of a whole bunch of junk. So before we go any further, we'll drop that down. Hit one. And poof it poof we're back home. Everything's running, nothing's blown up. Oh get a macerator going. You know what? Let's try out these overclockers. Where are they at? Cooling cells. Let me think. Uh, you gotta make a cell. And you gotta get fill it with water. And of course, I can't look at the recipe. What is that thing called? Coolant. Hmm. It's not giving me a recipe for it. Empty cell. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a recipe for a cell. That's what I thought it was. Oh yeah, these don't stack. Good. Let's just put everything in here. We'll come back for it shortly. And hopefully my sentry will protect me. There we go. What was it? Three? Yeah. Oh, we're going to want more than that. Let's just do them all. that circuit again, I remember. Mm 
many cables do we have? How many left? It's not going to be enough. Ah, there we go. Nice. I like it. Now, what are we missing for the over? Coolant cells are. Those are water cells. Gotta remember how we make the coolant cell. I think we gotta put them in something. Snowball. That's definitely not what we wanted. Well, that was it. All right, I think I got this all together. They don't stack, so I had to wait for each one to go through the macerator, then pull it out, and then let the next one go, and then pull it out, so blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Now, we do have the recipe for overclockers. And thank God, and these do stack. We had three extra. That will get four. Why can't I seem to remember this one, though? We need one more circuit in our inventory. There we go. What was I going to put this in? The macerator. To drop that in that slot, hopefully, let's grab something to macerate. Let's take our silver. Hopefully, now this will go a little bit faster. Yeah, it's going a lot faster now. And since we have our induction furnaces at 100%, I'll show you how fast these things go. They, uh, they move. <laughs> Granted, that's not as fast as the rotary macerator, but it's still good. Let's see what else do we have to tear up here. Uh, that's all you got so far. That one's still going fast at all. <clears throat> I'll get everything cooked up and we will head back down. I'll grab some more stuff here shortly. Well, this is just awesome. Thank God they're stuck in the water, but apparently there's a little... S I don't know where they came from. But maybe I can take them all out from the all. Oh, 
Anyway, just thought you'd like to see that. Alright guys, we need some ink sacks for what we're going to do next, and I found some squids down here somewhere. Let's see if we can do this without dying. That should be enough. If not, we'll teach um, our transmutation table what those are and get some more from there. So I'll get back. Actually, I'm going to pick up, see if I can get some rubber tree saplings while I'm over here. But I'll be right back. As soon as I cut the camera off, uh, apparently something killed me while I was looking straight up. So. And I had full health, so I don't know what that was. And one of the mo creatures things. Let's see, we are at negative 52, 64, 140. So let's see if we can't get back here and get our stuff. Maybe it was one of them scorpions. I'll go see if I can get back over there. Be right back. Well, I found it from the looks of it. It must have been a creeper came up behind me, and I just never heard the explosion. It's the best thing I can figure. <laughs> now let me get back to this. Hopefully nothing else will blow me up. <laughs> Be right back. Well guys, I'm tired of transmuting, uh, trying to get glowstone. Because it's extremely expensive and we need to get some more stuff going. So I'm just going to go to the damn nether. Uh, There's something else I want to make before we go to help give us a little cipher. Uh, let's see. These things for portal. Long fall boots. Let's get some of those going. That'll probably help us from taking any damage while falling. I think we'll take some, but not a lot. And let me get this thing charged up. I'll be back. Uh, okay, that's pretty close to being full. Oops. Let's just go ahead and leave all this here. And set ourselves on fire. Maybe we can just collect a ton of glowstone and come on back. Eventually we'll need some blaze rods and such from here, but not at this current time. Hopefully we'll get lucky and find some really quickly. Where would we spawn inside of you? Yeah, we ain't spawned inside a cave. And we'll just leave that there for now. So we can get back here if we need to. And I'm going to go look around and see what I can find. And I'll be right back. And it seems that we found some right here. That's good. So we can't work our way up there. Using cobblestone was good in here because it's going to be very, very noticeable. I can't tell. Is that something down there?
Give me all your glowstone now, please. No, uh -oh. hold on a second. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick little drink. I don't know, they had gravel in the nether. I wonder if that's just something that the... Uh, uh, what should I call it? Messed up. Texture pack is done. Do our best not to piss off the big zombies. Excuse me, sir. You know, it was too good to be true to be, uh, uh, what you call it, glowstone down there. Let's see how we're going to get to that. I'll finish collecting a bunch of this, and I'll be right back. Alright. I think we got everything we can find over here. I found a couple more. Uh, so I think it may be time to go. Let's see, I haven't even checked my haul. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'll drop a portal down, and boom. Right back where we were. Let's head on home. Right. set ourselves on fire no more. Let's see if our trip. Make a data and get some power going. Alright, since I think here seems to be going good. We can throw a little of this in there and let it do its thing. We're not gonna need this all. Uh, let's see, and I, I don't know if you noticed this, but off camera I changed this to a alchemical chest because it was starting to get pretty full. What we're going to do? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just make ten. Or eleven, whichever comes first. And. Get some of the stuff I had set aside over here. Probably gonna need some more obsidian. Yes, we're gonna make one of those things we've already made before. One block of diamond. And of course we're gonna have to check the recipe. What was that thing called? Why can I not remember it off the top of my head? Hmm. <sighs> there. Oh, energy collector. Let's see. Glowstone and a furnace. Some glass. Should have some glass somewhere around here. We can get a furnace out of here. And glass, glass. I made a bunch of glass earlier. There we go. And maybe. I think we have everything. I think 
less. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, furnace. Oh, that's why I didn't do it. Because that's in there. We didn't have that in our inventory. You know what? Let's just make sure it works with equivalent exchange stuff. Yeah, it did. Right there. That's what we're after, right there. Antimatter relay. Tier 1. And you see that block with energy collector we just made, surrounded by obsidian and glass? Well, give us that. So, let's just grab it instead of trying to craft it. We're going to take this homeboy. We're going to place him down right beside that. And what this will do is if we, let's see, let's find something we don't really want, gravel. We drop gravel in there, it's going to burn it up and turn it into EMC. Now, what that's doing is adding it to this since it's beside it. So what we're going to do once we get our quarry going, which I know I've been promising since the beginning that we would do, <sighs> we're going to pump our dirt that we don't want. Into, home, into said homeboy, so he helps the other part create more energy. And we're going to eat some of the meat of those Halo Craft peoples to get full. <coughs> so right now he's not really going to do a whole lot. Uh, we can dump stuff in here we don't want, but since we pretty much want everything, I don't really care for that. Let's burn him up. And that's just helping this boost along a little bit better. You see that got a little speed now. Something else we're going to do while we're over here. Let's grab all this stuff. And break him. We're going to upgrade him to a Mach 2 if we can. Let's see, what is that recipe? Ah, we have to wait till they get up to dark matter. Oh well. I guess he's going to have to sit here for a little bit longer. Where is... I was so hoping. But anyway, let's... uh. Let them do their thing. And like I said, once we get that quarry going, that's going to help out a lot. You know, something else I am looking for, we need to get going, is an energy condenser. It's an energy collector. That's a relay. And that's a oh, chemical chest and all that good stuff with it, so... I think I have one. We'll use one of these we had from before. And we're gonna set him down right beside the other one. Trying to remember what this one does. I think once we get a. Actually, hold on. 